Welcome to Thinking No Longer Week 7. So we pick up after Abraham and Sarah had Isaac, and Abraham and Hagar had Ishmael, and the boys are growing up. They're probably, I don't know how old they are at this time, at least 10, maybe older. And uh, Isaac is going up a mountain with Abraham as Abraham is about to make a sacrifice. Genesis chapter 22 verses 1 through 19. Now it came about after these things that God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, Here I am. He said, Take now your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there as a burnt offering to one of the mountains of which I will tell you. So Abraham arose early in the morning, and saddled his donkey, and two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son. And he split wood for the burnt offering, and arose and went to the place of which God had told him. On the third day Abraham raised his eyes and saw the place from a distance. Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey, and I and the lad will go over there, and we will worship and return to you. Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac his son, and he took in his hand the fire and the knife. So the two of them walked on together. Isaac spoke to Abraham his father and said, My father! And he said, Here I am, my son. And he said, Behold, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham said, God will provide for himself the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. So the two of them walked on together. Then they came to the place of which God had told him, and Abraham built the altar there and arranged the wood, and bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Abraham stretched out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. He said, Do not stretch out your hand against the lad and do nothing to him. For now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. Then Abraham raised his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in the thicket by his thorns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the place of his son. Abraham called the name of that place the Lord will provide, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it will be provided. Then the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, declares the Lord, because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son. Indeed, I will greatly bless you, and I will multiply your seed as the stars of the heavens and as the sand which is on the seashore, and your seed shall possess the gate of their enemies. In your seed all the nations of the earth shall be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned to his young men, and they arose and went together to Beersheba, and Abraham lived at Beersheba. Abraham tells his men, as he's about to go up the mountain with Isaac, that they, he says, we will be right back. So he and Isaac. So either he was just trying not to cause any fuss and say, don't worry, we'll be back. Or Abraham had so much faith, he knew he'd come back with Isaac, even after being told that he should sacrifice him. He may have just had that much faith in who God was and his character and that he tests him. Also, we find here that Abraham, through his seed, all of the nations are going to be blessed through the seed of Abraham. And that is wonderful news for us as we talked a bit about last time. Those of us who are Gentile believers who do not have Jewish blood are allowed in the kingdom adopted as sons in Christ. We get to be grafted in to the vine of Christ with Israel, with the Jews. And what else we find here? is that we see a picture of an only son being sacrificed, but then something was provided in his place. It's a very beautiful foreshadowing of Christ coming to die for us, that God is going to give his one and only son, although a ram is not going to rescue his son. His son is going to be the lamb that was slain for us.